start of the possession. The start of the possession. Right? Them little bumps right there, just knocking him off his track. Not allowing him to go and set that screen. This is when defense really starts. Right? Because now he's getting the rock. He's already frustrated. He's had so much contact. He's being a pest the whole time. Now he gets into a jumper. Break off balance. He's just not flowing the same. So you really got to start making sure you do your work early. Like you just do those little things that make offensive players uncomfortable. How does it end up losing? Everybody's got to be aware. Get the ball out of curve. Nah, he ain't even do shit. He ain't do shit. He do shit. Yeah. Or no, he did. He did. That's sneaky. That's sneaky. Hold on. That's why angles are so important. Look. Steph comes off this screen. Every Davion Mitchell stays as tight to Steph's body as he can. He shadows him. He doesn't try to stay on his inside. He's just moving behind him. And if he's moving behind him, he cannot be screened. Right? So at this point, Dante DiVincenzo low-key finessing by moving backwards and eliminating his angle. But Davion Mitchell gets right back to Steph's hip, thinking that DiVincenzo took him out the play. But in reality... Davion Mitchell is still right there, all because of the angle that he had going into that screen. So the result that he got was only because of the work that he did early. But Pete, though, this reach right here by Davion, right? That just set him up for failure. Because watch what's going to happen. He ends up having to go under that screen. That one reach for that steal is all the space Steph needed. Look, he reaches. Now Steph goes as soon as that ball is out of his hands. As soon as he goes. Now Davion Mitchell breaks his base. Now he's off balance. Bad positioning on the screen. Has to go under. Shot by Steph. Bucket. Look. Dead ball situation, right? Davion Mitchell picks up full court. Just to milk some clock. Just to milk some clock. Right? And so by picking up full court, it's not until 15 seconds that they run their first action. So he's able to cut off about nine seconds off the fact that he was just able to pick him up full court, slow him down, and now they get into action 15 seconds left. Curry has Show, all six boom, points for the Warriors gets into the paint, quarter. don't got really any looks, tough pass to make out for Curry. Now realize the clock again, nine seconds. You could maybe run one action if it's immediate, Leaves but guess what, pool. right? They don't run the action, the for the first right? Time. Now you just got an iso play. You got an iso ball. Five seconds left. Davion Mitchell Clinton. right back at the top where he started. About to get the stop too. Cuts him off on the first one. Pool Reaches. One got lucky and get caught for no foul. He ain't hit no arm, but ultimately great defense. Pains. Right, so even here, yeah, right, TNT crew. he's just trying to make him work as hard as he can and make the shot that he may get not as easy as it would be if he had that extra 1% of energy. And a great run so here. now he's just Open tying him up, physicality, no no foul calls, no nothing. The most Gets around that screen, though, but that lack of little bit of energy he had doing the work early, just let him right here and allowed him to miss short. You know what I'm saying? That little shit right there. He missed it short. And as a shooter, that's one thing you don't want to do because you don't give the ball a chance to get into the rim. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Land able to tip it in. This crowd got rocking while Green was on the free throw line as well. Angles, angles, two angles, two angles to peep. Land able to tip it Two angles to peep, right? Land able to tip it in. Mitchell starts on four. Switches on to Steph. Now he's attached. Second he got contact, it's like, okay, I got him. Ain't no, oh, get back, get back. I got him, right? Free throw line as well. Angle here. Gets around the screen by shadowing himself once again, right? Instead of trying to stay in underneath and trying to find the gap, he just goes behind, right? And so now at this point, he's trailing him. But as after he's trailing him, he's his goal now is to get back in front and not to continue to chase. And in doing so, he's able to get back here and get a contest. A lot of players like to well, get here, right, and just continue to stay on this hip instead of trying to cut off this angle so they can get back in front. Being on a player's side or being behind him is going to do nothing for you. So, boom, they got Mitchell six to get in front instead of just trying to stay on the side and gets that miss. Look, he's here the whole time. He did not mix him once. Boom. Say he got that. Boom, recover right back. Solid, right? Off the ball. Still attached. Contact. Body relaxed. His mind is still ready to go. Just like Steph is, right? So now, handoff. Still stay here. Even through some of that slip, that roll, he's still there. Drive. He's still there. Shot. He's still there. Attempt. Still goes in. You have to get numb. And so if, if you ever want to be good as a defender, you have to understand that you're going to get scored on a lot. If you're too scared to get scored on, 
You'll just simply not be a good defender. Your success will not be there. Here's Curry. Mitchell right in him. Curry with the floater. Hold on. Peep the angles on it, though. Notice what he did to his body on that shot attempt. Notice from the start. He's still ready to, to guard Steph from the start. He's attached, contact, physical, over the top. Kaminga leads, but I'm still going to play my positions. Right? Notice the angle, like I said. Instead of trying to cut him off to a spot, he seen he was getting up into a shot and dropped back. Notice it one more time. Slow motion. See it. He went away. In doing so, Steph sought contact, right? And if he got that contact, that would have put him on balance because that's what he was anticipating. But since he didn't get it, he shot this and was off balance. And you can even see, by the way, he just finished that shot. Had he got that contact, he would have been balanced. But no contact got him off balance. Been a little rattled, been a little uneasy. The rookie out of Iowa. That really has not been a factor at all in this series. Curry with Mitchell on him. Mitchell, great. That's one of the best defensive possessions I've seen today. Like, this is just him versus Steph, right? Really Screen gets there, but he gets through it. Easy. He's just moving his feet. This is how you got to play defense as a defender. Move the feet, right? Slight hand contact. All in all, he's moving his feet. And realize how he's taking on all that contact as well. Where is he, where is he getting hit? Core, right. Boom, getting hit. Chest, core. Once again, hit. Again, but he's solid. You don't see his, his frame shift. You don't see his shoulder shift. You don't see him drop back. That's weight room right there. As a defender, as a basketball player, the weight room is literally a necessity if you want to play at the highest level or at the best level you could possibly be able to play at. To guess who was open, splash in the court. Guard three, step, right? Except Curry. That you get clipped by this first one. You're practically out to play. But guess what? He's like, fuck it. I'm going to still try to get past this next one because if I get past this next one, I know I give myself at least a chance to possibly be able to get there and make it a little tougher for him, right? Then he gets clipped by the second one. And then the shot goes up, and that's the point as to which he's like, oh, damn, I can't guard now. He's already shooting. It's not like he gets hit by the first one, and after that, he just lets down his attack and his ability to recover. He waits until the shot even goes up. And that's when it's like, all right, now he's got to get a rebound. It's not necessarily even about guarding Steph. When you try to look at these matchups and then look at the box score, the box score doesn't tell the whole story. Because Davion Mitchell's not guarding Steph the entire game. It'd be plays like this, right? Where they get Davion Mitchell off of Steph because in playing in a 5-on-5, five five, you're not going to attack the best defender every time. It's just not smart. It's a waste of energy. At that point, you're just trying to play with ego, play with pride, and just trying to prove yourself for no reason when the goal is only to win. So now, it's a smart attack by Golden State, but you can't say, ah, oh, Steph was going scoring 30 on Davion Mitchell. He wasn't. It was really more so on the on the secondary, third, fourth, fifth level of defenders on their team. The last time Golden because to State understand defense, you kind of got to understand row. offense and what it makes an offensive player do, right? So Davion Mitchell sitting here in this help, right? Steph knows if he continues to go towards Davion Mitchell's vicinity, right? He's going to be so close to Davion Mitchell that if he wants to make a pass to pool, he's also going to be playing that angle as well. So it's going to be tough for him to if he wants to make a pass and then even if he wants to get a shot because he's all up in his grill. And so it makes Steph want to get back more to his right side, but not all the way to his right to get into some space. And then he ends up getting here and get that shot contested by Trey Lyles. So, because you got Draymond at the top. Draymond at the top, they're going to help in, plug in all day. So that was a great way to play the pass and to play the drive by Davion Mitchell on Steph. You even heard Marcus Smart talking about it in that R2 video. Right, where you see a player drive, you know they want to get contact, right? And so instead of just trying to run the same route that you're going, you just move with them, right? So if they're moving right, you go back and you move to that same direction. So you avoid that contact. Because with that contact, with you running at that speed, if they hit you, that's going to be a foul. So you just got to avoid that contact entirely. Because as an offensive player anticipating the contact, you're gonna, they're waiting for the contact to get back on balance. But if they don't find it, then they're going to be off balance. And so as a defender, that's where you can really leverage those scenarios into your favor. The good block out. Murray on deep in Genzo. That shit is a battle. That shit is a battle. That shit is a battle. Whole time from game one, even right from game one, 
right. It's just like so much, so much physicality. You know what I'm saying? So like, even if if you didn't prepare your body prior to in your preparation, when time comes, you're gonna be cooked, right? But Davion Mitchell, he's solid. He's firm with it. Not just even in his body, but especially like in being able to move his feet and his awareness as a defender. Hands up by three. What did he say to Malika, Mike Brown? Let it fly. That is just not it. That's just not the shot. That's just not the shot. You got to realize where you had a good position, where your defender was vulnerable, right? It was there. You missed it. But even though you missed it here, you can't try to go and take this one and try to just chuck this up because you had an opportunity. Realize you had. That's past tense. Ain't no more. You don't got no opportunity now. He already done recovered. That's Davion Mitchell. Some of the best guard defenders, they're always going to have a great bounce back game. They're going to fall. They're going to get right back up super quick way quicker than you can even think and so he's already right there you trying to exploit the opportunity that you had now and this results in this 